Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. It's been a while since, it's been a few weeks at least since I've been behind the table, so it's nice to be back here. Right, first thing, Adam Parker Smith. I think that's his name. Yes, Adam Parker Smith. Do you recognize the name? You might not. Uh, somebody posted some work, he's an artist, somebody posted some work of his on one of the Facebook groups, I can't remember which one, and I was really impressed with it. Uh, he takes balloons, he uses foil balloons, and to look at his, his sculptures, they just look like they're foil balloons stacked on top of each other. But if you have a look at his website, have a look around, you'll see some of the pictures behind the foil balloon. It's, it's, it looks like it's been cut out or some of the foil balloons been cut out and it's all fiberglass. And I've no idea obviously how he does it, but they just look so impressive. I really like it when artists look at something like foil balloons that we use every day, that we see every day, and they create something a bit different with it. It's, it, it's an interesting way of looking at the world. And we've, we've sponsored a few artists over the years that have done creative things with silver foil balloons, filling rooms with balloons, etc. And I, I don't know, I just really like it. And I just thought it was just an interesting point. He's based in New York. So if ever you pop over to New York, you might want to go and see um, some of his pieces of work. But there you go. Right, a tip for you. We've had a few phone calls, a few emails and people sending a picture through and it's a, an organic piece and they're saying how do you sell this grey colour? And we don't because it's a very light grey colour. So Anna in the office has had a bit of a play and she's come up with this. Now I don't know how well you're going to see this on, on camera but it is just a normal Qualitex grey balloon put inside, double stuffed into a, a normal Qualitex white balloon. And this is the grey, the very light grey, that people have been trying to achieve. So there you go, a little tip, free of charge that, just how to do that. I know double stuffing is a, an amazing technique that you can create almost, almost any colour. Let me get rid of that. Where's it going? There. Any colour. And I've seen some online where people, particularly with the chrome balloons, people double stuffing those and creating all these all these different colours. Right, the last time I was behind here, I was talking about Father's Day. Father's Day is still happening, 17th of June. And that is, well, it's going to be upon us before we know it. Uh, however, when I last spoke, I said that there were other things going on, but I didn't have any product to show you. Well, today's that day. I'm going to show you some of those products. First of all, Pride. Now, Pride is a big thing throughout the summer season. These, these parades take place all over the country and are obviously very, very colourful. So I'm going to start with this. This is the unique rainbow balloon very colourful. And then we've got the tassel garland behind me that can be used as a, a tail for three foot balloons or it can be used as we've used it here. And then of course we've got a lot of other stuff here. I've just brought one of the balloons up and the paper decorations and, and the tassel garlands and things like that are proving really, really popular. And I don't know if it's because they're more um, environmentally friendly or what, but they're proving really popular. And you can create some amazing pieces with these. And we've got the, the crepe streamers there. We've got the pennant banners, decorations, etc. So really, really popular. We do have a banner on the website, balloonmarket.co.uk. These are just a few of the products. Also, on the, on the website, if you're looking on a computer, you've got the banner at the top and that changes. Those banners are all repeated down below because when you look at the website on a mobile, that upper banner thing actually disappears and so you've only got the lower banners. So that's why they're repeated below. Just a little, a little bit of website stuff there for you. But yeah, we've got the banners for all of these on the website, balloonmarket.co.uk. Now, graduation. Graduation is that time of year when people spend ridiculous amounts of money on renting cars for one hour to drop their kids off at their graduation. 500 pounds, a thousand pounds for an hour for a fast supercar or something like that. It's ridiculous in my grumpy opinion. But anyway, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So graduation, people celebrating it a lot more. So I've just brought a few graduation things up here. We've got the pink, we've got the blue balloon there um, from Kaleidoscope, got some confetti, a few latex balloons, we've got a banner, but probably the balloon that I like the most is this one. And the reason I like this one, obviously it goes from pink to blue, so it can be for anybody, but I really like the message on there. It's reach for the stars. So rather than graduation. It's congratulations, graduation, graduate, you've done it. It's the end of something. 
This is looking to the future. It's a more positive message, in my opinion. And that's, that's why I like that one. Now, communion is becoming much more popular. I'm, I'm not too sure why, it just is. And again, pink and blue. I know there's, there's some people out there that say everything should be gender neutral these days. It, it isn't. People still like the pink for the girls and the blue for the boys. Or maybe, maybe it's pink and blue for the other way around. I don't, I don't really know. But pink and blue still very, very popular. So I've brought a few communion things up. The uh, blue and the pink Colortex latex balloons, a couple of unique foil balloons, a couple of Am Amscan banners. I've got some neutral First Communion balloons up here as well from Amscan, but there, there are a lot more than these. Now, the big thing that's happening very soon, obviously we've had a, a royal birth on, on the day of filming. It's Tuesday, so there's a royal birth yesterday. The baby will probably have a name by now, so you'll probably know that, but I don't know that at this time. Um, but of course, the royal wedding is happening in on the 19th of May which happens to be the same day as the FA Cup final so if you're in a household that has a football fan and a royal wedding fan good luck that's going to be interesting I didn't have any any room to put football stuff so there you go football stuff um, the FA Cup and obviously the World Cup later on in the year. But the, the Royal Wedding, it's going to be big this year. Obviously, this time it's it's not two Brits. It's an American and a Brit. So we've got everything as the Union Jack or as the Stars and Stripes. So we've got the balloons here. We've got the picks. We've got some Union Jack bunting here. We've got napkins in both. We've got the Celebrate banner there as well. The glitter banner, very glittery, very American. So I think it's going to be a big, big day. You might want to decorate your shop window for that. It's, it's going to be a big, big day. Now, something I did want to show you, there's nothing to do with any events that are going on. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned the flags. I don't think I mentioned the flags, did I? So there you go. The flags, they're quite, quite good quality, actually. They're, they're, not, they're not really cheapy quality. Quite good. Right, I want to talk to you about this balloon. I'll tell you about this balloon. It's brand new from Oak Tree, and they are called sparkling fizz and they are rose gold which obviously is one of the colors of 2018 and they're sparkly so one of the themes of 2018 so really really popular they come from age 16 all the milestone ages up to 80 and what we've noticed is people that are true uh, brand new to the industry are really going for these so i don't know if they know something we don't know but yeah they're very very popular so i think they're going to go absolutely crazy um, oh, going back to Royal Wedding, I forgot to talk about these. Sorry, Rob. Um, we've got the crown, the Qualitex crown, obviously very popular anyway, but with the Royal Baby, maybe, uh, but also the Royal Wedding, that's going to be popular. And the classic, the classic Union Jack bubble, which has put a little collar on it. Well done, Megan. That was a good job. Now, there's two things I think I've covered most there. Yes, two things I'm very, very excited about. The first is this. Now this is our bunny and flowers balloon. And I say our bunny and flowers balloon because we designed this, Amy downstairs designed this herself. It's because obviously Peter Rabbit, very popular at the moment because of the film, uh, lots of people doing Peter Rabbit parties. Um, we can't do Peter Rabbit balloons because we don't hold the license for that and that would be illegal. So we've printed a bunny rabbit onto the balloons and put some flowers and butterflies around. We've got them in blue at the moment. They're coming in pink. They might be here by the time you watch this. They might be on the site already. Um, any other colours, we're thinking possibly another colour as well, a more neutral colour. Um, any ideas, please leave a comment down below. But yes, they're in packs of six. And the reason, it's not just the Peter Rabbit, the reason that I think these are going to be good is that in the autumn, there is going to be a four-part miniseries of Watership Down. Who remembers Watership Down? Who's old enough to remember that? Did it make you cry? Of course it did. We read it at school. I can't remember how old I was. I can't remember what year the film was. Man, that late 1970s, maybe? I feel I was about the right age then to be watching it. Made me cry when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, amazing. So I think these are going to have some life in them. Anything with bunny rabbits on, I think it's going to do really well. Now, the other thing that I think everybody is very excited about are the brand new Aqua balloons. Now, I've got one here. We're filming in the studio. If I don't hold it in front of my sweater, you won't be able to see it. This is one. We actually inflated this 
I don't know, three, four weeks ago. Um, so it's gone down quite a lot. It's probably got dirty finger marks all over it. I don't know. These are new to the UK in the last few months. We're filming on Tuesday. Yesterday was the Nabas AGM. And I know Romina Finale was there and she was showing everybody how to use these aqua balloons. That looked like it was an amazing event, by the way. So well done to to all the committee. I think you did a great job just looking at the photos and the comments that you're getting. It looks like it was a, a great event. There was some business training there. Romina showing everybody how to use this. It looks like it was great. And I saw the, the organic sculpture and it was it looked amazing. So, and hello to everybody that went there. We did have somebody phone up this morning and say, order in the aqua balloons, please. Um, they're gonna change the world. So it's gonna be interesting. So yes, we're not gonna inflate any today. As I say, these, these are basically invisible when we do the editing, if we do it here in the studio. So we are, in the next few weeks, hopefully going to be doing some inflation of these in the meeting room. These are a few pictures that Mike from Reds has sent us. He's used them. And do you remember Mike? He's come in and done some, some filming with us. And he made these with the, with the smaller one. They come in three sizes. You've got the small one, the medium one, this is the only medium one we've got, by the way, at the moment on the day of filming. We might have more in by the time you watch this, but I've kept this one to one side just to do this. I've got the small one, the medium one, and the larger one. Now, they look pink. That's because they've got a film on them. And I'm guessing the film, once you start inflating it, the film peels off and then you just, just take it all off. And... I'm guessing it's to protect, keep the moisture in, a bit like the moisture pack in the bubble balloons, the Qualitex bubble balloons. I should point out these are very, very different to bubble balloons. I initially thought, oh, they just look like bubble balloons. They're not. They are clearer than bubble balloons, but they are very, they're softer, they're stickier, squidgier. Even when they're fully inflated, um, they are, they just feel softer. From a float time point of view, they don't float as long as foil balloons or bubble balloons. They do float longer than, than latex balloons. So they're somewhere in the middle. We had one of the middle sized ones floating for, I think that was a couple of days, um, but we didn't inflate it all the way. They come with instructions. They come in packs of 10, but we're selling them individually. So the instructions, we've taken pictures of these instructions and we have put those on the website, on the product pages as additional images. So if you do want to read those instructions, you'll need to read the instructions. They are a bit different. Let me get my glasses. Yeah, I left my glasses downstairs. So I'm gonna try this without the glasses. Now you inflate, that they, they don't, with bubbles, you know when to stop inflating because the creases disappear. On here it says you should inflate the smaller one between 130 and 230 millimeters, the medium one 270 to 420, and the large one 650 to 800 millimeters. So I think it depends on what it is you're trying to do as to what size you would inflate them. They recommend slow inflating for the small one with a hand pump and fast inflation with an electric pump for the other two um, sizes. So it's gonna be interesting. Uh, I do think they are going to change the marketplace. I don't think they're going to replace bubbles. I think they're going to be different to bubbles. I don't know if you can put high float in them. That's a question that people might have. Maybe uh, anybody that went to the Nabas AGM would be able to leave a comment down below and say if it is something that you can put high float into to extend the life, um, or if you just put high float in there to make things stick to it. But yes, we're quite excited about playing with these and uh, seeing what people come up with. So um, yes, they are in the building right now. As I say, the middle one is out of stock, but it might be in stock by the time that you watch this. Now, I've got a story to tell. It's a story with a moral, and I think this moral applies very much to business. It wasn't a business situation, it was a personal situation, and I'm going to tell you about it. I went to Ikea a couple of weeks ago, Bought some units and got home, realized that one of the units, yeah, it's, it wasn't going to match what we wanted it to match. So I was going to take it back this weekend, just gone. But I also looked at the receipt and realized we hadn't been charged for something. So I went back, went to the return section, said, here, I could like to return this. And also you have to charge me 25 pounds. And this confused the girl. 
She's like, I, I don't understand. Well, we, I bought something, but it wasn't scanned by the lady at the till when she was, because it was quite a lot that I bought and she was scanning it, obviously missed one of the boxes. But I did get it and here's a picture of it. I showed her my phone and, uh, but it's not on the receipt. So you've got to charge me 25 pounds. She was very, very, very confused at this. So she had to go to a supervisor and the supervisor, he was, looked a bit confused as well, but then gave me a smile. And she came back saying, okay, that's fine. So we'll refund you the 20 pounds for this. And then we'll charge you the 25 pounds for the shelf that you got that you didn't pay for. So you owe us five pounds. I'm like, yeah, that's absolutely fine. And then she said, but we're going to give you some meal vouchers. So here's 40 pounds of meal vouchers for being so honest. And being the gentleman that I am, I was obviously taking my wife and my two daughters out for dinner on Saturday night to Ikea because, hey, you can't beat the meatballs there. So we effectively got dinner for free and they were £10 each, these vouchers, £40 of vouchers. So really, I made £15 out of being honest. So there you go. It's always good to be honest, but I do think in this day and age, honesty and business is really important. You've got to be honest. You've got to be authentic. You've got to be true to yourself. And I, I, I just think it's an important message to get out there. But if you do go to Ikea and you don't get charged with something, take it back and you get a free meal. That's the moral of the story. Anyway, that's it from me this week. Question of the week. Do you think aqua balloons are going to change the world? Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next time. Bye-bye.